screen, YouTube. I've uh, well, not that, but anyway. um, I've talked about the Republican war on women on more than one occasion here on my channel, and I often get pushback from conservatives, uh, and it usually falls into falls apart rather quickly, and they go away. Um, because they'll tell me that there is no war on women. Some of them will even tell tell me about how women have more control in America than men do. Um, anybody want to tell me how many laws have been passed in America to control the reproductive rights of men? Yeah, that'd be zero. Um, but they're passing them all over America, and they're ramping up, shortening the number of weeks that uh, an abortion is legal down to six in Texas, which essentially means none, because a lot of people won't even know they're pregnant at the six month point. Um, and uh, that's horrifying, but it's even more horrifying in that there are places that are trying to pass laws that mean there will be no exceptions. You're, if you're raped, if you're molested by your parent, uh, if the fetus is in danger of harming the mother, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You're going to carry that thing to term anyway. And if you die in the process, well, that's the price you pay for getting pregnant outside of marriage. They don't seem to be aware that married people have abortions, too. Because if that happens, people that don't want any more kids. And actually, I don't even have to have that qualifier. Someone should be able to have an, a, an abortion for any damn reason they want. Up to 24 weeks, that should be, that's the only restriction there should be. And past 24 weeks, as long as we've got the two doctors signing off for a late-term abortion, those should be perfect, perfectly legal and safe as well. And of course, the, uh, the point of this isn't to eliminate abortions, because it's not going to eliminate abortions. Abortions will continue, and there are women out there and their allies who are preparing for the eventuality of that already. I own a book myself which is how to deal with abortions on a grassroots level when they are illegal. Uh, because I'm planning ahead. But they don't care if the abortions actually don't stop. They don't. They just want to punish women. They want to punish people who have uteruses, because not just women have uteruses. Um, and if more people die or are horribly scarred because of it, um, they don't care. That's a, a feature, not a bug for them. Because any pregnancy outside of a heterosexual marriage is seen as evil. And if you commit an act of evil in their eyes, you should be punished, either with a child you don't want um, or with a horrific abortion that may kill you. That's just what you deserve as far as the social conservatives are concerned. You should suffer. And if you endorse causing suffering in others, you're immoral. The entire social conservative worldview is immoral. It's, it's twisted. It's warped. It's evil. And they don't care. Of course, wealthy uh, members of their socially conservative uh, organizations and, and member and, and society uh, will still have access to abortion. They always have. Um, so the wealthy Republican politicians' families will all have always have access to them. Private doctors will be called in, and uh, people will be ill for a few days, and then they'll be going right back to their lives. And if you want to adopt a child in America at age 16, you can't. It's not legal. But you can be forced into carrying a fetus to term at 16 because the Republicans are evil. It makes perfect sense to them and not a lot to me. It is a war on women. It's a war on uteruses. They want to control women's bodies. They want to be able to tell someone when they can get pregnant and under what conditions. 
and they don't want them to end any of those pregnancies because at the heart of it, they want more white babies. And that's what's at the heart of this, folks. It's white nationalism. They're terrified that there will be fewer white babies and more black babies. And they're terrified that white people will become a minority in America, which they will do in the coming decades, becoming less than the 50% mark. They'll still be the largest demographic, but we will become a minority majority country where no single block controls the country. Of course, that could just foster an apartheid situation. Right now, is it is thirty white men, white straight men make up thirty percent of the population. They make up something ninety plus percent of uh, of politicians and business owners and things like that. It's completely and utterly disproportionate in their favor, and they think that's perfectly normal. They think it's perfectly normal to control the bodies of women as well. So don't give me the bullshit that they aren't having a war on women because they are. Don't tell me they're concerned about gay kids or trans kids because they aren't. They don't want to keep them safe from parents that support them. They want them to commit suicide. So don't vote Republican. It's that simple. I know the Democrats suck. I do. I despise almost all Democrats. The entire established Democratic Party, you know, the established Democrats, I hate those bastards. And I'll still vote for them. Because they're better than the Republican Party. And it sucks that those are my choices. It really does. But I have to do everything in my power to keep the Republicans out of office. Because this is a war. And in war, you don't always get to choose who you fight with. And I have to fight with the Democrats. Yay. Definitely wouldn't have chosen those allies. But the Republicans are committing a war on women. And if you don't think they are, then you're one of their foot soldiers. <laughs>